we get a great introduction to one of the area's most popular sports here at Conk Republic Divers. As we leave the docks, Captain Gary shows us why the Keys are also known as the Conk Republic. See if you can do it, Freddie. You know Captain Gary. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hyperventilate. <laughs> then Kendra discovers a way to make us all hyperventilate. Trick to driving the big boat is finesse, which, <laughs> which I haven't mastered yet. I haven't mastered the finesse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Kendra's driving the boat. Okay. Don't over, don't over correct. You haven't? No. It's like putting on a superhero costume. As we near our dive site, I struggle to fit into my wetsuit. It feels very tight. And we finally arrive at our first location. Here we are on Snapper Ledge. This is about three and a half miles offshore from uh, the village of, uh, of Islands in Tavernier in beautiful Florida Keys. This is a great little site here because it has millions of fish. But huh? I mean, we're going to get so many fish around here, you're going to have to beat them out of the way to see the reef. We have a little ledge that we're going to go down. We may see some shark on this, some nurse sharks. Yeah, we may see some uh, yeah, moray eels as well, uh, and a lot of lobster. Kendra's hoping sharks are not attracted to the color pink. A lot of times we do see a lot of the sharks that do swim out around the sand, so you may see uh -oh. them, all right? They won't hurt you. They're nurse sharks no. like big catfish, okay. so they'll be okay. The things we will need to be concerned about are the delicate coral reefs. Freddie and I are going to be going down, and we got to be really careful on the reef there to ensure that we don't damage the reef, kind of make sure that we're ecologically friendly, our buoyancy is correct, and stuff like that. So um, if we're all ready, let me get in my gear, and let's go diving. Kendra gets a quick snorkeling lesson, and we're ready to take the plunge. And just as Captain Gary promised, we find ourselves surrounded by colorful, curious fish. Yeah, thousands. <laughs> they're all over the place. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Did you touch them? Tried to. He tried to a hundred times. They get about this close, and then they, they, then they're out of there. Now it's off to the next adventure, but on the way there, we have a little misadventure. We lost the tank. Captain Gary gunned it, and the tank went overboard. Loads of fun. With the tank secured, we arrive at our destination. It's called Pickles Reef, a popular spot for snorkelers. And you have one of the best snorkeling guides there is, Captain D. Now, well, uh, Fred and Gary are out diving. Let's see what we can find just by snorkeling. Here's so this whole area is only about 15 feet. Very good for snorkeling because you're so close to all the animal activity, as well as the corals. There's a lot of different corals around here, all the way from uh, pillar coral, uh, to little, uh, little bitty staghorn corals that are being grown in the area here. So you'll be real close to the fish and the water is just extremely clear here. Beautiful day for snorkeling. The significance of this area here is back during the Civil War, there was a Union ship loaded full of concrete, actually mortar and wooden barrels that was going to unbuild Fort Jefferson when they hit the reef. Uh, in doing that, the entire ship went down. So down on the bottom, we're gonna see little mounds of mortar that look like the pickle barrels. So hence the name here. Pickles Reef. It's just incredible. You feel like a like an invader of an entirely different planet altogether. You get to enjoy a whole new part of, uh, of the world that you just didn't know was there, that you're just not able to do without oxygen tanks and mass and somebody with a know-how and a boat <laughs> to get you to places like this. 
Now that I've mastered the diving, it's my turn to take on the driving. But I've got to say, it's not as easy as it looks. It's got a little bit of play in it, okay, in the wheel, so that's probably what you're feeling. You feel the play in it? A little yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It has a mind of its own. <laughs> it's peaceful out here. Well, this is what it's all about right here. And it's just another typical day in the Florida Keys.